Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. You probably have wondered uh, how can you download stock prices data, cash flow, balance sheet and fundamentalist indicators in an easy, fast and free way. So you stopped in the right place. In this video I will show you how to do that using Python. So you need uh, to download Python. I already have Python installed on, on my computer, so I will not uh, proceed here with the download, okay? Uh, besides that, we are going to use a library called uh, Y-Finance uh, from Yahoo Finance. Uh, because in the Yahoo website, we can easily download uh, stock data and all kinds of information about some stock like uh, the historical price data the volume the price earnings ratio the balance sheet and the in the cash flows of the company in this case i just uh, type on the search menu the tesla company the car manufacturing company from elon musk to download the Y finance library you need to open your terminal on Windows and type pipe install Y finance and press enter so the download will uh, be done easy like that now if I type clear I can clear my terminal in this case I am using Windows terminal but also you can use the CMD from Windows CMD So I just opened a text editor, I'm using the Sublime text editor and let's start typing the code. The first thing we need to do is import the libraries we are going to use. Import Y finance as FY, sorry, uh, YF and import pandas as PD. Now let's define our main function. And the first thing we are going to do is to download uh, the stock price. To do that, uh, we need to, to initialize a ticker on the Y Finance library. We can just type uh, YF ticker in the name of the ticker we are going to initialize. In this case, I will import the data from Tesla. So I just uh, type the code from Tesla in stock market. Also, you can find this information on the Yahoo website. And to download the historical data, let's type historical data Tesla. Tesla, that is the ticker we just initialized history to see if it's working let's print this historical data uh, it's it's important to know that the historical data tesla is a data frame from pandas and we can use data frame functions like the head that in this case we are going to print the first five uh, rows in the in our data set in your terminal just go to the same uh, director where the your python script is on and then simple type python the name of the file python.py And we can see here that we have the date from, from the, the information, the opening price, the high price, the low price, the closer price, and the volume of the, of the negotiations of the day. 
also we have the dividends and stock splits of each day and how we can download the cash flow in the balance sheet let's do that Simple like that, we can only just type tesla.cashflow in tesla.balance sheet and we have this information. Let's print. And just to make the data more easy to visualize, let's uh, jump some lines. Now let's run our code. Clear for clear the terminal and then Python tutorial one py dot py. So as we can as we can see we have the historical data, the cash flow statement and the balance sheet statement. But uh, what's the difference between the cash flow statement and the balance sheet. This is a very common question and let's clarify it. Basically, the cash flow statement shows us uh, the ins and out of the cash in the company, in this case the Tesla. Uh, it gives us the idea of movement, while the balance sheet statement measures its assets, liabilities, ownership, equity, and it gives us the idea of a stationary thing. And please, uh, if you, you are enjoying this video, do not forget about uh, slap the like button and subscribe to the channel. And share this video with your friends, people you like and people you do not like also. If, uh, especially if your friends like investments as you do. Finally, finally, let's uh, see uh, how we can get some uh, fundamentalist indicators. For instance, in this case, I will show you, you how to get the price earnings ratio. The price earnings ratio basically shows us uh, the, the concept of if the company uh, keep the same earnings in the future, in how much time we are going to have these investments paying, paying itself. If you type tesla.info, you get a dictionary. Uh, truly, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we get a dictionary or a data frame. Uh, so let's test it. To do that, just type Tesla info and we get the type of the variable. Is a is a, a dictionary, okay. And let's see the information that, that is inside this dictionary. We can see a lot of information here. We can see the sector of the company. We can see the description of the company, the city, follow out, the phone of the company, the total assets, the industry, the auto manufacturers. Uh, but besides that, we can have uh, some indicators here. For instance, the forward uh, price earnings and the in the trailing price earnings. Let's see the trailing price earnings ratio. Okay, I just clear the terminal and then let's run the code.
we have the historical data of the company, uh, the five uh, upper rows. We have the cash flow of the company, the balance sheet of the company. And then we have also a fundamentalist indicator that is the price earnings ratio of more than 1000. Uh, probably, or I'm not sure, but probably the company is uh, overvaluated right now. Thank you for watching this video, guys, and see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.